What? The fuck did we just see? What? What the fuck did we just see? I think I'm tripping. I think I'm tripping. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Holy fuck. I don't know what the hell just happened, but I think I'm tripping. That match should not have ended the way it did. Oh my fucking god. Alright, you guys, tonight, I'm gonna... Well, while I'm trying to process it in my mind, I'm going to give you guys the results of NXT TakeOver Portland. But before we but before we do that, I do there is an announcement to make. So we found out that NXT UK will have another TakeOver. This time, it will take place after WrestleMania, right around the end of WrestleMania. It will be known as NXT UK TakeOver Dublin. So, I'm very excited for that, but let's kick this off with the NXT North American title. As Keith Lee defended the title against against Dominic Dijakovic. And this match literally lived up to a type, because this match was absolutely amazing. Two big dudes just beating the holy hell out of each other. And there were so many high-flying moves that these two dudes made, but it, it, it was crazy. It was, an abs it was absolutely crazy, but of course, but in the end, Keith Lee hit Dominic Dijakovic with his finishing move that he calls the Big Bang Catastrophe to retain the North American title. But of course, after that, a little show, a little show of Matt Props lifted up Di Dijakovic, you know, they embraced, and Keith Lee actually helped Dijakovic up to the second turnbuckle so he could pose. So, big props to that. <sighs> Alright, you guys, next up we have... Next up, we have a street fight between Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox. Dakota Kai has... has I don't, I don't even know why Dakota Kai did what she did at War Games... Which I did do a review video on. If you guys want to check that out, if you guys if you guys want to check out those reactions, whew, compared to what happened tonight, dude, dude. Anyway, this match literally again lived lived up to its name. A street fight. This went all over the entire building, the entire arena in Portland, and in the end. I don't know what the hell happened, but Reyna or Raquel, I guess Reyna, I'm, you know what, I'm just going to call her Reyna Gonzalez. If, if, if you guys saw her, if you guys saw Reyna, uh, Reyna Gonzalez from the inaugural Mayon Classic, uh, she did pretty well. I think she made it past the first round, and I think she got eliminated in, in the second round. But with the help of Reyna Gonzalez, Dakota Kai defeated Tegan Knox in a street fight by pinfall. By... With the help of Reyna Gonzalez, and if I'm if and if I'm gonna be honest, Knox should have won. Should have won that one. Next up, we have Finn Balor versus Johnny Gargano, and what you guys are about to hear is going to blow your mind. I don't know why it happened. Try and move my camera here. There we go. This match literally, literally it, it, it lived up to its height. It, it, it lived up to everything that we had expected between Finn Balor and Johnny, and Johnny Gargano. But in the end, Finn Balor defeated Johnny Gargano by using a coup de grace and, and the 1916 DDT. Thus, Finn Balor is now the heart and soul of NXT. Next up, we have the NXT Women's title. As Rhea Ripley defended against Bianca Belair, this match went was back and forth. This was an all-out brawl in the end. But it, I'm, and if I, and if I'm gonna be honest, damn phone. And if I'm and if I'm gonna be honest, I'm glad I'm glad that Rhea Ripley defeated Bianca Belair to retain the NXT Women's Title by using the Riptide. 
Because what happened after will blow your fucking minds. Charlotte Flair, the winner of the 2020 Women's Royal Rumble match, showed up at TakeOver Portland. And now the rumors are true. I did speak about this a couple weeks ago. Maybe like, I think like a, like a week ago or something. But I spoke about whether or not we would see NXT invade WrestleMania like they did at Survivor Series. And the rumors are true. Charlotte Flair has chosen Rhea Ripley for WrestleMania. So as of now, we have three matches on, on the card. Two of them are guaranteed. The other one is still yet to be confirmed. The two that are that are confirmed, obviously, is our is our Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's Title, and then of course Brock Lesnar versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Title. But that could all change at at Super Showdown. Then we have and if and if I'm going to be honest. Um, just just from those four matches alone, Keith Lee versus Dominic Di Dijakovic, five stars easy. That match that match was the one of three matches that stole the show. Knox and Kai, three stars only because um, on, only because having Reyna Gonzalez show up in you know you know you know yeah you know get it you know get involved in that match made no sense at all. It made no sense at all. I don't know why she got involved, but yeah. Uh, Balor, Balor versus Gargano. Uh, f um, three. I, I would say three and a half stars because of the fact that the fact that um, Gargano, you know, has you know, you know, has been a part of NXT for so long. Finn Balor has been away from NXT for for about four for about four years now. You know, you know, you know, being on Raw, being on SmackDown, you know, winning, you know, becoming the first ever Universal Champion, becoming a two-time, you know, becoming a two-time Intercontinental Champion. Um, if I, if, if, if I'm going to be honest, I think Finn Balor never should have left Raw, or should, never should have left SmackDown. I think he should have stayed on, um, I think he sh he, he should have stayed on the main roster because he would have done so much better. Just in my personal opinion, anyway. Uh, uh, Ripley Bel Air, four, four stars easy, hands down, four stars. It was absolutely incredible. This was a, this was another one of those matches that stole the show, and this next one truly did. The Broser weight, Pete Dunne and Matt Riddle against the Undisputed Eras, Fish and O'Reilly for the NXT Tag Team Titles, and ironically, these two, the, this team. The Broserweights, Pete Dunn and Matt Riddle. They've only been teaming for a month. A month. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> with <coughs> with a with a combination move. With a combination move. They fucking did it. They become the new NXT Tag Team Champions. How that's possible? I have no fucking clue. All I know is that they're now champions, which lead, which now, which now, three of the four members of the Undisputed Era are no longer dripped in gold. Which begs the question: Is has has Adam Cole lost his title? The answer is no. The Broserweights Undisputed Era. Four stars easy. This was a really great match, but it did not steal the show. I think, um, actually, sorry, that, yes, it did steal, steal the show, sorry. The main event did not, because of the way it ended. Adam Cole, Tommaso Ciampa for the, for the NXT title, and this proved, this, and, and I was watching this match to prove my theory. I don't, I don't know if I talk, if I spoke about it. But I had a theory that if you guys if you guys remember last year NXT Takeover New York, Johnny Johnny Gargano and Adam Cole beat the holy hell out of each other two in at, in a two two out of three falls match. Adam Cole had had the undisputed era bail him out, and he still lost. Fast forward to Takeover twenty five without the help of the undisputed era, Adam Cole wins. Fast forward to take over Toronto. 
last summer, SummerSlam weekend, Adam Cole won without the help of of the Undisputed Era. With every NX, with every with every NXT title title defense that he has, he has never relied on the Undisputed Era. It, it, it's either that or the match ends in a DQ because of the Undisputed Era. This match would prove my theory as to whether or not he could do it with or without them. And unfortunately, he kind he kind of proves my theory right because he can't win a match without the help without the help of the Undisputed Era. However, what however what I'm about to tell you will shock you to your core. Will shock you to your core. If you guys remember, at Worlds Collide DIY, we saw DIY, Champa and Gargano. Duke it out with against with Duke literally have a classic tag team wrestling match with Mustache Mount. Take over Portland tonight. Gargano fucking went rogue. He fucking attacked Champa with the belt with the NXT Championship, and Adam Cole hit Champa with the last shot to retain the NXT title. I don't know what the fuck we saw, but I'm seriously tripping. I cannot wait to hear his to hear his actions, to hear his explanation this Wednesday on NXT. I cannot wait to see that. I don't know why. I don't know why Johnny 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 Gargano did it. I have no idea why. I mean, yes, I mean, I mean, I get the fact that Gargano wants to become NXT champion. I get that. I can totally respect that. But for him to turn his back on his best friend, a man, a, a man that that traveled the world with him, traveled all over the place for so many years to see his best friend do 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 that to him. I honestly don't know. I, I, I will give this match three and a half stars, though, only because this match was great. It, it went exceptionally well. It went exceptionally well until the last five minutes of the match. It went south so fast. With the rest of the UE help, you know, bailing Cole out, with Gargano taking the title and hitting Ciampa with it. I don't see, I'm curious, I'm kind of curious to know what Ciampa's thinking right now. I cannot, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. But overall, um, overall, hell of a card. Amazing matches. I'm going to have to give, give this night four stars. This was an incredible night. But the way, but the way the main event ended, I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm seriously tripping. I'm tripping. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. We are 23 subs away from reaching 100. 27 away. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because when you do, when you do, because when, when we reach, when we reach 100 subs, I will open up this box in its entirety on the channel. And if, and if we reach more than 100, like say, just to throw it out there, let's say 300. Let's say 300. I'll open up this box. Striking Neo's Korean. I know it's Korean. I, I, I know it's a Korean box. And I know that some say some say that Korean cards are, are, are not worth that much. But it's still it's still a really old set. So if, so if this channel reaches more than 100, I will open this up on the channel. Of course, too, I will be obtaining... I will attempt to um I, I will attempt to get my hands on other old school korean packs uh because i because I, I know that they're relatively cheap it's kind of weird but anyway um but anyway yeah also to also to oh can i speak yes i can speak um also to be sure to follow me on twitter and instagram links will be down in the description below and if you guys have any fan mail that you want to send me because i would love because i want to read off those letters on the channel, on camera for for you guys. Address will be will be at the top of the description below. And on that, 
This is your boy Nash signing out.